Hello, LifePoint. It's Pastor Mike. It's Christmas week, obviously, right? I was just out and about over the weekend doing some various shopping through various shopping centers and just enjoying that 10, 15 minutes of getting out of the parking lot just onto the main road. Oh, how much, how much fun that is, huh? I had a few items I needed to pick up because I hadn't been out shopping forever. We've just been avoiding everything. It was fun watching the people, though. They're searching for their items, they're corralling their children, the intense look in the parents' eyes as they're shopping around. So I was taking that all in, uh, just got me thinking, well, what are they celebrating this week? What are we celebrating this week, right? We as Christians are celebrating the Creator stepping into time and space on this earth to save us from our mess. In the first chapter of John, it tells us, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Through Him, all things were created. Without Him, nothing that has been made was made. Our God came down into His creation to become what He created. He came as a defenseless little baby, without any prestige or royalty, in a lean-to full of animals, parents that were unknown, with only smelly shepherds coming to celebrate with him. There was nothing that screamed, King, Lord of Lords. So 33 years later, that little baby boy changes all of eternity. Three years of outrageous, awesome ministry prior to that, nothing the world had ever seen before, nor ever will, culminating into his death and resurrection. Hebrews 9 gives us a more intense look at what Jesus did for us. As it compares the blood sacrifice and altars, here on earth and in heaven. The tabernacle on earth was a representation made by human hands of the perfect tabernacle in heaven. Blood had to be sacrificed for, for sins. Our high priest Jesus went through that greater, more perfect tabernacle, not made by human hands, shedding his blood once and for all, for all humanity, for all time. That was what we look forward to as we celebrate the birth of our Savior, that little baby Jesus. So what are you celebrating this year? Joe talked Sunday about the uh, Church of Ephesus, how we're doing all these things really, really, really well, but they had forgotten about their first love, their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for which everything was supposed to be about in the first place. Christian, is that your focus? Not just during the holiday season, but seriously, is your life about Him? Is Jesus your first love and foremost love? Not health, not finances, not family. Those are good things, but they shouldn't come first. Is your first thought in the morning and your last one at night about Him? Are you going through your day and He's continuously on your mind? As Christians, as we investigate and understand what that baby grew up to do for us, we should be completely overwhelmed with the desire to serve and celebrate Him with all of our lives, every day of our lives. The Church of Acts seems to be filled with people that did just that. Shouldn't we look the same?